Tom here with a quick video on how to add a new email address for your website's domain. So for example, I have a domain and a website called techiediy.com and I want to create a new email address that would be tom at techiediy.com and I'm going to add that email address to my Gmail account. That gives me the advantage of using Gmail to check my email address. Also, I can add in a number of other email addresses and thus consolidating my email addresses and being able to check them with one account. And the last thing I'm going to do, actually in part two of this series, if you will, is in another video I'm going to add my Gmail account to my email desktop client which is Thunderbird. That's the one I like to use. And there's no requirement to use an email client such as Thunderbird or Outlook. It's just uh, I prefer that. But in this first video, just by adding and consolidating some email addresses in Gmail, I'll be able to check those emails anywhere using a web browser. So let's get underway. So the first step is I want to create a new email address on my hosting account. So the first thing I need to do is log into my cPanel. And this is hosted at Rochin Performance Hosting, but this cPanel software is pretty standard. And whether you're hosting at Bluehost or any other web host that uses cPanel, you'll recognize this and might be familiar with it. So just because I'm on my host doesn't mean that what we're gonna go over won't work on your host if they are using cPanel. So the first step is I need to collect email accounts and I want to create an email address that's going to be tom at techiedy.com. I need to decide on a password so I'm just going to use the word password P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D and I'm going to change this obviously after this video. Okay, um, I could specify a quota uh, maybe a gig. Uh, let's just do that. It doesn't really matter, but so I'll make it a gig and click create. Okay, that's done. So let me click go back. Now the next step is I'm going to add this new email address, which uh, you can see down here, tom at techiediy.com. I'm going to add that to my Gmail account, which I already had open over here. And what we want to do is click settings up here on the right and go over here to accounts and import. And this is a two step process. So the first step is send mail as, and that's going to allow me to send mail from tom at techiediy.com in my Gmail account. The next step, which is much more important, is I want to be able to check mail from that account. So that'll be next. So first, let's click on send mail from another address. And let me type in my new email. Click next step. This is asking me if I want to send the mail through Gmail, and I do. Otherwise, there's an option here. I can send it through my own mail server. I'm going to opt for the first choice. Now, this next step, uh, after I clicked, click send verification, it's going to send a code to my new email address that I just created and I've got to go over to cPanel and I've got to check my mailbox and grab that code and then enter it in. So this is part of a verification step. Make sure that I authorize it and all that good stuff. So here's where the code's going to go. Let me go over to cPanel and down here I want to click uh, this little image of a globe with a little envelope and my password P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D login and I'm just going to use squirrel mail. Uh, I won't be doing this too often, uh, checking mail this way. That is, I'll be using Gmail. And there's my confirmation email, it looks like. Let's open it up. Okay, and there is the code I'm looking for. So let me copy that guy. Let's go back to Gmail and paste that in and hit verify. Okay, excellent. Now, um, there's an option here. Um, 
always reply from the default email address. Um, I actually don't want to use that. I want to use reply from the same address that the message was sent to. Uh, so if somebody sends me a message to tom at techiediy.com, uh, when I re reply back in Gmail, it's going to come from tom at techiediy.com. Uh, so that's all that's about. Now let's go on to the second step. Check mail using POP3. And I want to click on this add POP3 email account button. And enter my email address again. Next step. Okay, here we need some information about the cPanel email setup. Uh, first, I need a username, so um, I can get that by coming back to cPanel and clicking on Configure Mail Client. It gives you all the settings you need. And the mail server username is tomplustechiediy.com. The plus uh, I actually can replace with an at symbol. So let's. Uh, get that in here. The password is P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. The mail server, um, Gmail was intelligent enough to guess that it's mail.techiediy.com, but let's verify that. And incoming mail server, mail.techiediy.com, so that's correct. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, some options. Leave a copy of the retrieved mail on the server. Yes, I want to do that. And what that does is it's going to always leave a copy of any mail sent to this mail address um, on my server. The advantage to that is it's kind of a backup. So if Gmail ever goes down and I can't check my inbox, um, I could go to Squirrel Mail here and I can check my emails. So that's the advantage of, of that, of leaving a copy. It's just a backup. And um, I'm not going to be using SSL. Um, I do want to label incoming messages so that I can differentiate between this address and any others that I add, uh, keep everything nice, neat, and organized. And archive incoming messages, um, I don't think so. So just those two options is going to be good for me. Now if I click Add Account, that should complete this step. Okay, we're, we are all done. Now uh, I just want to go through a simple test. So let me click Inbox, Compose Mail, and send a quick test message. Okay, send that off. Okay, looks like it already went to my inbox, but what I really want to do is go over here to uh, my server's email and see if it got to here, and it did. Um, open that up. So there's my message, so it did make it to my server's inbox. Now let's take this test full circle and reply back. If I can type. Gmail here. Okay, so it looks like my message came in already. Um, if you're familiar with Gmail, you know that when messages are going back and forth from the same address, uh, Google, or Gmail rather, groups them together. So if I open this up, thanks for the test, so I can see the latest message appended. So that completes this video tutorial. And in the next video, I'm going to add this Gmail account, techiediy at gmail.com. I'm going to add it to my Thunderbird email client. And that way I can use Thunderbird to check not only my Gmail account, but it's also going to check any other accounts I have associated, which so far is tom at techiediy.com. And actually I added one before I did this video called ask at techiediy.com. So I can check all three email addresses through this one account. So that's one of the advantages. Also with Gmail spam protection, that's another advantage. So that's why you might consider doing this. So that's it for this one. I hope it's been helpful and stay tuned for the next video.